Welcome to this overview of Power Platform and Azure Application Insights. Just wanted to throw a quick video out there kind of describing some of the benefits of uh, turning on the Application Insights feature uh, for Power Platform. Um, if you have done any sort of uh, analytics, done any sort of administration with uh, Power Platform, most likely you started somewhere here within the Admin Center, looking at Dataverse, Power Automate, Power Apps. Uh, to kind of find out more about, say, you, your users, right? The active users that you have, where they're performing operations, uh, specifically, you know, wh where in the platform, how are they accessing your platform? Are they using, um, you know, more laptops? Are they using uh, mobile devices? You know, what security roles? What do we have by devices? All of this great information that's typically found in the Power Platform Admin Center. What we struggle with here is at times we we we're getting sort of a snapshot of where we're at. So we, as you can see, we can only go back a certain amount of time. In this case, we're going to go back to July 13th. Um, so we're sort of limited on the scope of this. What if you had the ability to review not only one month, but three months, six months, a year, two years of data that's being generated by your user base? You know, where are they going? How are they using your platform? How's their experience? What if you were able to take that information and start building your own metrics outside of this admin center, looking at creating things like where my uh, when's my most active usage over a week or a day or a month? Um, what kind of licensing do these users have? All of this information uh, can be had by turning on things like application insights, tenant level analytics, um, et cetera here. So all you'd have to do is quickly go to data export, turn on the app insights feature if available in your region. And then you could start building dashboards like you see here. And the proof is right here. You can see I'm showing you quickly something called data uh, Azure Data Explorer. This is fed from Application Insights. So you can build sort of streaming data sets, if you will, that will show you your data, right? The same data that we were looking at before can be had here. So active usage, API calls, a passing rates, operations, all of this stuff can be uh, refreshed, you know, set at a, a certain interval and it can refresh right in front of you. You can be able to build dashboards off of this data, allowing you to present this uh, to your, your stakeholders. Uh, you can use this at, in troubleshooting, right? So um, IT support teams can leverage this to, to help uh, understand more about where your user's performance uh, may change for them. Um, or they can go troubleshoot if there's any sort of, you know, any error they're running uh, running into. So as you see here, we have this, this can uh, be uh, again updated um, on a very frequent scale. You can build Power BI dashboards. You can build Azure workbooks. You can build all sorts of uh, uh, notebooks and visualizations and everything else as you uh, see. Um, and you can decide, you know, what different environments. Do I want production? Do I want to look at development or a UAT environment? And how far back do I want to go? Um, knowing I can go back, you know, many, many days here, last, you know, 1,095 days, for instance, here. And anytime you can have all of these numbers refresh, you can see this can change at any time, passing rates can change. You can add colorization, really build reports on what you're looking at having here. So I would highly recommend turning on application insights, getting started with it, start working uh, on building some dashboards. Um, here at Microsoft, we do offer um, some sort of workshops or just, uh, I guess you would say sort of uh, um, um, envisioning type activities to help you get started, to help activate this within your platform. So if you do have any questions, please do not hesitate to reach out to me directly, um, or I'll drop a link at the bottom in the description to help you find out more. Thank you.